In this video, I'm going to show you how I took these photos and composed them all together on the iPad Pro. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome. My name's Andrew Goodman, and it's become a bit of a Christmas tradition that every year I try to make our Christmas card or our Christmas photo a wee bit different, and this year was no exception. Here's our Christmas photo from 2020. This is the photo before I started editing it. And as you can see, it just wasn't as snowy on the day of the photo shoot. These Christmas photos are always a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun coming up with the idea, and it's also a lot of fun on the day, taking the photos, coming up with quirky things, doing a lot of funny things with the family. The kids seem to enjoy it, and I, I certainly enjoy it. For the past year, I've been doing all my photo compositing on the 2020 version of the iPad Pro. I love using the iPad for this kind of work, and the app I use isn't Photoshop, but Affinity Photo, which I completely love. And there's gonna be a video coming soon of Affinity Photo and why I enjoy using it. Love it actually so much. For the 2021 Christmas photo, here's the images I used. And I wanna say a big thanks to my son, Seth, who volunteered for getting a dessert put on his head. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of laughs doing it at the time. What a legend for how it turned out, Seth. Thank you very much for being such a superstar. Maybe it's my turn next year. Now let's bounce into Affinity Photo and see what I came up with.
And there you go, I had a lot of fun making this photo, editing it on the iPad, and then finally the end product. I'm really pleased how it came out. I got a few laughs, and I have to think of what to do for next year's photo. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Feel free to comment below on what you liked or didn't like, or maybe possible ways we could have changed it to improve it. Please feel free to subscribe. There's going to be more videos like this coming soon, and we're also going to be diving deep into Affinity Photo on the iPad, and I'll see you in the next video.